authentic Japanese A5 Wagyu is known for its incredible flavor and tenderness, superb melting texture, and intense marbling. However, it also has a premium price point. On today's episode of Quest for the Best, we're going to Gainhu Barbecue to find out if A5 Wagyu is worth it and if you can tell it apart from American Wagyu in a blind taste test. What is doing? Xia Ma Ting Che Yin Rou Hao Mei Wei Zhao Lai Ba Fang Ke Hey, welcome back. We're the Three Musketeers. Let's begin the challenge. Yeah. Before we bring out the A5 Wagyu, we're ordering the Meat Lover Stair Combo to test if Jisung and Sam can taste the difference between beef, pork, and lamb when blindfolded. Oh, 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 oh wait, I, I feel the heat. Round one, lamb. You have to be able to use your chopsticks while you're blindfolded. Wait, no, what? No, that wasn't part of it. Where, where are my chopsticks? I think I just touched my sauce. Keep your hands to yourself for now. I think with smelling, I think yeah, I already can tell. Right here. Wait, I can't. Wait. Right here, just, just this is pretty funny. That. What is it? Three, two, one. Lamb, lamb, lamb. lamb. These you guys know? are food experts. Yeah, eat it. Mmm. It's oh. good. It's really good. Mm. So the lamb, you have to eat it with this. This sauce here is a dry seasoning. It's very, very delicious. It's like a cumin, pepper, salt. A lot of, there's sesame in there as well. Round two. This one, I gotta tell you, it looks amazing. Next, we're going straight to the top of the staircase, American Wagyu. I think that because you two are blindfolded, mm -hmm. your senses, your taste, and your smell is even better now. Let's see if I can smell it already. Okay, get closer right here. To smell it though, you have to smell it. I think I'm just smelling Jisung right now. <laughs> I, I can smell smell the smartness of Sam. All right guys, it's in front of you. Try to use your chopsticks and feel it. Did I get something? I, am I... No, you didn't get anything. Okay, this is a real challenge, getting the... Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, you got it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my chopstick skills are really bad. Come on. Did I get it? No, you didn't get anything. How about I just feed you? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, yo, yo, yo. I can't stop. Stop, stop. 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 Did I drop it? This is not working. There, there. <laughs> you I dropped, dropped it on the know. table. <laughs> she said dropped it on the table. Okay, three, two, it? one, go. It's way you for sure. I smell it. Go, go. Oh. Finish chewing first. Don't get too excited. Mm. Okay? Mm. That was Wagyu for mm. sure. That was so good. What do you think it is? I think it is too. American Wagyu? Correct. Oh, you guys are two for two right now. This is too easy. The sure. real challenge is actually them trying to use their chopsticks while blindfolded. Where's my chopstick? Mm. Well, I, I smelled like burnt fat, which is because the Wagyu has a lot of fat. And then when I tasted it, Right when I bit in, it just melted. All that felt melted in my mouth. It's so good. I think good quality meat is like when you bite it, you don't really have to chew okay. that much. Yeah, later we have some even better meat, so make sure you watch the end where we reveal that, okay? Before we continue, you have to get this Wagyu fried rice if you come here. It is jam-packed with beef flavor. They use beef fat to cook it, and Chi Sung basically finished it by himself, so we had to order another one just to share, okay? Mmm. I'm crying, that's how good it is. But from where though? It's actually just really tasty and it's a little bit hot. <laughs> Round three. Let's mix things up and serve Sam and Jisung different cuts of meat. Oh, it's a very interesting smell. It's been marinated before. Yep, that's been, oh my yeah. goodness. You sound. You're so, you're, your nose is too good, Sam. You can tell by the sound. No, 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 by the smell, smell. I can't tell if I'm smelling my sauce that's in front of me or the meat. I think I'm just smelling my own sauce right now. Uh, do you want to guess right now then? I think it's pork because there's a lot of sizzling coming out. That means the fat, there's a lot of fat content. Sam is making know. deductions based on the sound. That's very, very smart of you. <laughs> oh, it you sounds said. like rainy. The Don't popping like, noise. Yeah, the popping noise. Don't it sound like so rainy? What, what could it be? Right? Marinated beef is also has a oh, taste Oh, no, I know what it is. This thing from the pot, the teriyaki yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a teriyaki thing. We got it, it's a teriyaki thing. That's why I was like sizzling and I smelled the sauce. Wait, hey, high I'm, five! She's on high five. Okay, She's on high five. No, 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 Wait, are you doing the high five? High five, high five. No, why are you having a high five? High five, high five. Oh. But the amount of time it takes to cook, I know it's the uh, the teriyaki pot thing. That thing's big. Oh wow! I got it! I got it! This, Did I get this, it? This is a seafood, isn't it? This shrimp, this shrimp. He was cooking the teriyaki, but then he put the shrimp on too to trick us. I'm too smart. Okay, give me right, it. Let's go. Ready? Open up, open up. Sorry. No, hey, it hey, is pork. That. I was right. Jisung. Pork jaw, pork jaw. 
It's marinated pork. What piece do you think it is? I think it's pork jaw. It was a little bit thicker. And you think it's marinated pork? Yeah. There was no marinated pork on the plate. Oh. What is it pork or beef? It's beef. It implies beef. Oh. What is beef? Is it, is it possible to just pour it, but somehow he sauce, sauced it? I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. We cooked two things, I know. We cooked two things just now. Sam got the pork and you got it right. But is it pork belly? Pork jaw. Pork jaw. Oh. Pork jaw. So Sam got 100% right. Ji Sung, you're 50% right. It was marinated. It wasn't pork. It was beef. Oh. Very, very close. He said okay? it was shrimp too, right? It was shrimp. It was shrimp. He did a little bit better than you. He was able to tell it was pork jaw even though we tricked him. And you almost got it right. It was marinated, but it was the wrong type of meat. So Sam who wins the challenge. All right. One of my favorite things about this restaurant is also the decor is very nice. Come on. Let's go check it out. All right, when you come in here, first thing you notice is Mike Chen is here. All right, if Strictly Dumpling has been here, you know it's good. The restaurant's on the second floor, so you gotta go up the stairs, all right? You can sit here with a zither in front of you and enjoy the view of that beautiful dry-aged meat. Oh, there's salt bricks in here, and there's like, this, this is the dry-aged meat, and it's been dry-aged for two weeks or somewhere about one month. Will just disappeared. I think he's planning something for us. They didn't tell us, okay? So we're a little bit worried. You know, the next one is supposed to be very, very good quality one, right? So maybe they gotta try to put something like not too good. Yeah, 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 that's true, that's true, okay. Possible. So, so be ready for that. Be ready for be them ready to trick us that. with bad meat. Next round, we're gonna trick them one more time. We're gonna tell them that the Miyazaki is dry age, and their dry age is Miyazaki. Let's see if we can trick them or not. Miyazaki, can they show show for you? Because we want to trick each other now. Now for the main attraction, the Ganhu dry age combo with A5 Miyazaki Wagyu, 14 day dry age beef short ribs, and 35 day dry age American Wagyu ribeye. I can't drink with, with the blindfold. Oh my god, that's just sample. Sam's taste buds are so on point. Your dad's a chef. No wonder you're so good at this. Uh -huh. oh. There it is, our meat. Ooh, first piece. Ooh, the sound, the sound, guys. Woo. Yeah, it is raining. It's raining fat. It's raining right now. The meat is dancing on there. I feel like this is the American Wagyu, the big 35. Day eight, dry age one. Oh wow. Let's see. Apple is so smart. He already knows what it is before <laughs> he even tasted it. Can you stop it. being so sarcastic, please? <laughs> Will is so quiet. Maybe you got it right. I got it. I got, yeah, it. got it. Will it. Oh, yes. The meat is being served. It is here. Oh, I feel it. I okay. feel it. Yes. Yeah, Alright, I'm putting it in. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Boy, this is so fatty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. I got it. 35 day dry aged. I've had dry aged before. This is dry aged. Also, also, the beef flavor is more prominent with the American Wagyu. What do you think yeah. it is? I think it's 35 aged too. You guys both think it's a 35 day, right? Next one. Oh my goodness. Do me a favor, put me some of that um, Chinese kimchi. Chinese cabbage is here. Mm. These are chopstick skills. Oh, I got it. It goes oh. really well with the meat. Uh, but not my favorite. Is it too spicy for you? Too salty. Too salty? Too salty? Yeah. Man, you problem with salt. <laughs> Yo, every time everything's too salty for everything's you. Everything's too on. salty for you. <laughs> really salty and too much salt in there. Okay, I hear something sizzling. And then judging by the... Wait, wait, maybe he's just rubbing oh, the fat. this is fat. This is fat. Snapple, this this is, <laughs> judging by the smell, this is just fat. <laughs> he's rubbing the fat. See, I knew, I knew. Caught myself there. Next up, 14-day dry aged beef short ribs. Okay, it's the short rib. Two. There's not enough fat content in that. And there's another reason. I think William gonna put the best one at the end. Yeah. So we know William so well. Yeah, so well. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna put the best one for the end. Blocks. We don't even need to taste anything. You guys are too much. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 Sam. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, let, let's just see. Let's see. Sam, Sam being overconfident as usual, and Ji Sung being a little bit more reserved. Maybe not too well. Also, he's not this. using the scissors, so I can tell it's not. Not using a scissor, Sam. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe scissors. Yeah. Okay. A lot of scissors. Okay, guys, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's begin. Mmm. 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 Does it taste? Well, sure. I like the first one better. The, the first one had more fat. I'm sure you guys got it. What is it? Short rib. Short rib. Short rib. Okay. 
before the final round. Okay, we're trying another recommended cut here. It is the beef tongue. And this is one of their most expensive items. But the quality is very high because they only use the best part of the beef tongue. It's all the way in the back. Not the tip, not the middle, but all the way inside the throat. And that is going to be the most tender piece. Let's try and see how it is. Mm -hmm. The beef tongue is just so tender. Once you bite, it goes right through it. But there's like a little bit of a, a chew to it. Texture is just completely different. Definitely worth a try if you haven't tried it before. Let's move on to the final round then, all right? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, ready for this. Do it. Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Little did Sam and Jisung know, they had already eaten the A5 Wagyu. And I had one more trick up my sleeve. Oh, listen to that sound. Wait, we'll be shooking us with short rib again, though. But wait, have you ever tried though, together? I'm adding some shrimp just because you said that, Sam. You should put a pretty piece of shrimp and fend me some shrimp right there. Alright, but I'm gonna tell you this last round, I guess, at least I won't disappoint you, no matter what. Alright. Even Let's though I have a blindfold on, I feel the radiance. It's a little bit too try hard, but yeah. Jisung, you're agree. not excited? <laughs> I'm Please, excited. Please, Jisung, but... this is A5. It's speaking to me right now. It wants me to eat him. It's kind of weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> is it here? It's here. Oh, I feel it. I feel so soft. Do you smell that beefiness, Sam? Yeah. Oh, oh I just dropped it on my hand. <laughs> Come on. Careful, careful. Sorry, sorry. Put it in your mouth. Not on, Wait, on your hand. To grab it. Then the, then the. Is this A5? This is not A5. You guys tell me. No, 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 I got tricked. No, no. This is not A5. What? what, what you you're about? drinking. Give me the A5. This is not A5. That was A5. Really? No yes. way. You can tell because the beef flavor is a lot stronger than this. No, there's no fat but, in mine. I'm going to have to give you the A5 now, okay? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This oh, it smells, it smells different. It smells different. Ooh. A5 right there. Oh, shit! <laughs> of course it smells different. Wait, stop tricking us. Give us the A5. You guys are guessing everything. Now we're gonna give you the real A5. Okay. I dropped it on my hand and it felt really hard. I was like, wait, there's no way this is Wagyu. So the last round is coming and it will not disappoint you. <laughs> I've been disappointed every time you said that. Not this soon. is not A5. I'm pouring the watermelon juice on your face. Oh. Alright, big words from Sam Okay, I'm testing with my chopsticks first so I don't get tricked. Yep, but you feel that piece though. Oh my feel God. it with your chopstick. I dropped it. This is a little bit more of a chunkier piece. And you guys remember that A5 Wagyu was a chunky piece. Okay, I'm trying it, Will. Alright, go for it. Oh. Mm. Really? A5, A5. This is A5. Mm. Really? It's either A5 or 35 day dry aged. You might be tricking me, I'm so scared now. All right, okay. what do you guys think it is? A5. Putting A5. All, all in, Jesus. A5. Oh, this is hard. Okay, Fine. just tell me what meat. Uh, okay, sure. Two. Let's go, Adam. Yeah. Go with Sam. A5. Let's go. All right, reveal. Really? I don't... What was it? Where's it? A... Hey, we did eat it. You guys just ate the A5. Is that your favorite piece? A5, is it worth it? No. Oh. You don't like A5? Is something wrong with you? The first meat that we had was the fattiest. That first piece was A5. You give us A5 first? Yes, A5 was first. I think that'll taste better. That one tasted the best to me. The final piece we had was the 35 dry age. The 35 dry age is pretty fatty as well, but the difference is it had a very distinct dry age taste. Uh -huh. There's a deeper flavor to mm. it. All right, let the audience know what's your favorite piece of meat. My favorite piece was the uh, Japanese one. But I recommend the uh, staircase though. I think staircase is good enough. For me, I would have to say actually the 35 dry age. I really like the flavor of the dry age. It brings out the beefiness of the meat. So good. I think my favorite was the A5 Wagyu too. Just because it's such a different experience from what you're normally used to eating. Every other steak, nothing could compare to that A5 Wagyu experience where the fat just gushes out and it just fills your whole mouth. It's like melting on your tongue. Yeah. And I think that is what I really like about this place. It touches your soul. Soul. It touches your soul. Okay, I'm gonna give you a price really quick. The dry age combo was $149.99. I think it's a really good price if you wanna try Wagyu. A5 Wagyu and American Wagyu, and you get to try their dry age as well. The staircase, it's called the Meat Lovers Staircase Combo. That is only $89.99. It's like a perfect deal for like two people. That is really worth it. You get to try all these different types of cuts of meat. In conclusion, Japanese A5 Wagyu is expensive, but for a good reason. It bursts with flavor when you take your first bite, and the fat melts on your tongue. Premium American Wagyu, on the other hand, is also very tender. It's not as fatty, so you can eat a lot more of it, making it a great choice as well. All right, so would you guys recommend Ganhu Barbecue? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. All right, so we can say this episode of Quest for the Best was a success. Yes. And guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support us. All right, and we'll see you guys next, next time. time.
Korean likes to eat the radish with the meat. It's really good. Ji Sang will eat it the Korean way. Radish with the meat. Wrap it, but uh, this one is too small. Okay. Whatever I just eat. So that pork is really, really fatty. It's gonna balance really well with that sweet and sour radish. Mm -hmm. So the acidity is really gonna cut back on that fat. That's like a perfect combo. So good.